Hi guys, today I'm going to show how I animate 3D scenes in stick notes. I will teach you the step by step process of how I achieve this, so keep watching till the end. Firstly, we need to download a 3D posing app so we can make reference images. I am going to download Magic Poser for this. You can download any app of your choice or you can even take real photos as well for the references. Let's make a new project inside this app and add a simple anime character. So this is the workspace of the Magic Poser. You can move around the camera and pose the character as you wish. We will keep it simple for this video so let's add a normal standing pose and we will animate it from side view to front view. And now you can export the images to your device or just simply screenshot it. So let's get started in stick nodes. Here I have created a new project with a simple background and we will navigate to the movie clip section and create a new movie clip. First of all, we will create some simple shapes. Just make a rounded segment for the torso and hands. and eclipse for the head now navigate to the load image button to insert the reference image once loaded you can also adjust its transparency to your liking once it's done let's add the head segment here and adjust to the appropriate position remember we are using the image like a guide and we are not fully tracing the image. After that, you can add its arm. And copy and paste it so we can join it to the previous segment. add a little bit of a curve to it and now let's duplicate its arm and paste it back you can temporarily color it so you can see the layer so it's at the back and not at the front So it's done and now we can color it back. Now for the torso, we will make a big segment and add a curve to it and place it correctly. And now we are done. Wait, not quite. It still looks incomplete as it doesn't have any three dimensional depth to it. So let's add some depth to our character. We will use a stick figure drop shadow filter for it. But don't worry, if you're using a free version, you can follow this tutorial to get the same result. So I'm gonna make it white, and you can adjust its opacity, blur, and other parameters to your choice. We are done with the head, and now I will just copy its filter and paste it to the other parts. So with that, we are done with the first frame. Now we will load the second frame. And if you have any difficulty seeing the reference image, you can just bring it to the top and adjust your character from there. So now we are done with the second keyframe and let's make the last keyframe as well. I'm gonna speed up the video here to save some time.
and we are done with all the three keyframes. But maybe I should add one more keyframe. I won't use any reference image, but just manually adjust it. Once you get used to it, you won't need the help of reference image very often. And you can just use your experience as your guide. And now we are done with all the four keyframes. Lastly, let's add some in-between frames to make it smoother. Let me make a few more adjustments. And we are done. Let's give it a name to our movie clip. Add it to the project. And let's animate it. And here's the result. But I'm not satisfied with it, so I will make the background move so it will appear that the camera is moving in a three dimension. You can do it like this, just move your background image bit by bit in every frame. And here's the result. Moving on, let's see a different example. The process is same, so I'm just gonna speed up the video. You can use any symbol shape. Like in this case, I used a stretchable rectangle for the torso of the character. Just play around with the shapes and see which works for you. So after making the keyframes and adding the in-between, here's the final result. I hope you find this video useful to animate 3D scenes in Stick Notes. I know it's a little time consuming process, but it's worth it when you're trying to make some special scene or movement in your animation. Don't forget to share your 3D animations in the comment section and also comment on what topic should I cover next. And lastly, thank you so much for watching. Peace.